Hey there, hi there, hello there, it's Jeff Carter John and welcome you to the 40s and 90s version of the U.S. Open at Brookline. Bob Hamilton, Ben Hogan, Brent Guyberger, Kerry Middlecoff, Arden, and Dutch Harrison all have won events. We will be looking at Dutch Harrison in his three-man group, trying, if, as he's trying to win back-to-back -back titles. We tee off. <sighs> so fast start by Jimmy Hines and Bob Glasson. Byron Nelson at 300 par. So he's trying hard. Bill Glasson's at 500 par. So the first leader is like minus one. Get okay, Alexander. Minus three to the front nine. A sixty-nine. Oh yeah. I forgot about doing the whole thing about the lowest round. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of stupid. Well, 67 by Bill Glass and Baird and Hines. Just a letter Eagles on nine. Well, 66 for Bird. Can Jimmy Hines get higher? There is. No, he bogeyed. So him and Bird are tied at 600 par. Ben Hogan at 500 par for the first nine, though. Ben Hogan won in the fan in February, so. There's some weirdness. He would. <sighs> so we're going to be looking at group 24, the um, Dutch Harrison group. Here we go. There's the Dutch Harrison group. Franco Hart. Now Harrison. Oh wow, jeez, he almost eagled. Franco, no. Hart, no. Went to keep ready to get you, Harrison. Right off the start. New York. Horseshoe Birdie. Dutch Harrison. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit 
correct. Jimmy Hines, Mark Brooks, and Jim Jim Ferrier and Ben well Ben Hogan are at six hundred par. But will Ben Hogan take the club's lead? Four shows at five hundred par now. Ben Hogan's guy got something going. Well, if he wins, then he will take second with the triple desk and then third place will be. For Franco. Harrison. Thirty of that one. Uh, hurt. He's close. This is for Brady. You got it. Let me hear it. Gets it. Brady, Franco. Oh, and he can't finish up too. Yeah, nope. He's not. Four ships out at 600 par. Alright, so. One to five. For art. Looking good. Next will be Harrison. Go. Well, it's I'm the favorite. No, Harrison. That looks pretty good. I go. And heart. Second 
Jennifer Harrison. I like that there. Okay, this will be for birdie thirty feet. Way like that for her, so ready for her. Nope. Here we go. One over par. Lots of people at six under par. Ben Hogan is alongside them. With Mark Brooks, Jim Ferrier. So if Hogan wins, then he will have a second win at well, he will be disqualified, kind of. Asinger and Kaiser. We'll do with Kaiser here. Here go. Here we go. Oh, my, shot. That is a beauty. That is a heart. Wow. That looks good. There's a hook on one side. All right, buddy. You didn't get it. Your heart. Franco. The eight fan has a long drive through the line. This is That did look like a good shot. The chairs to the rescue. Right, it's part five, so you do have a little bit of room for air. You can set up your third shot, okay. Wow. 
uh, two under par. We're up two under par. Look at the six under pars. There's eight of them. Bird, Hines, Brooks, Ferrier, Warsham, Hogan, Asinger, Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser took second place last tournament. He's trying to get that run-up spot into a win, which would do a lot for him. Franco! Okay, keep in favor of regulation. Heart goes left. Again, goes that up, right? Left center? Feels like that. Feels like that. Oh, I Drop at the nearest relief. I had not seen that. It is like the 60s kind of times thing. I don't know what the heck that shot was. Where did I go? Heart. Moves across the way. Man. Harris is pretty. He just lost all that momentum. He had first grade birdies and now he has a triple bogey. Harris is going to keep float here at 11. Go on to the drop. Ironically left. Deadly hurt. Franco. Franco. Harrison. There are no hurt. It's for Brady. Oh man, Frank almost saved. Are still at 600 bar predator. It's minus six. Okay. 
next tool is heart. Oh, uh, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Someone right, please be centered, Dudley. <laughs> Not really as team. Harrison has to take that type of shot. Dudley hurt his gloves. Something to that effect. Frank, oh well, he'll be spinning very close to the pin. Touch Harrison. Harrison. Now for Brady. Oh, it's good to a little much. Frank, oh. Nope, I ain't good. That's a good thing. So we got eight golfers at 600 par. Well, there's Andrew McKee, the only one in the third board that still has to tee off. So there's a hole left. The answer is probably not. I don't know. It's hurt. Oh. 
you say here? 16. Seventeen. Deadly heart. Oh, you feel so oh, that's fifteen. Franco. Way off to the left. And now Harrison. Right. So left, right, center. And Franco. Harrison. Oh, nice can for break. Oh. You know, right. uh, Twenty-seven for birdie. Oh wow, it just came past. Really hard to get it. Franco. <clears throat> One to eighteen. <laughs> That's what first. Golfers all is minus six. Great. Oh, this is plus minus five. Thirteen. So we'll finish up soon. This will of course take a while because we have all the guys who still have to pull. Oh, out of the hat. You could probably guess that for some reason there were some very bad stoppages. Well, I can tell you 
But it's partially because, for some strange reason, I'm feeling a little fatigued. Well, take be this. So I obviously have to um, be a little more open-minded, if you will. Minus six is still the highest score. Jim Ferry. Never heard of the guy. Sam King. Pete Cooper. So that's it, and we have co leaders, not the that weird seven-way tie or whatever you want to freaking call it. At seven under par, we have Pete Cooper and Billy Aldrande shooting to beat the band at the country club while well, it was called Wins. Sandberg, Jimmy Hines, Mark Brooks, Jim Ferrier, Lou Warsham, Ben Hogan, Paul Eisinger, Herman Kaiser, Freddie Haas, all of six under par. Plenty of people who are five under par too. So that's uh, interesting. Concept and all that. So yeah, lots of people on the other side of the spectrum. The worst. We had some five hundred parts. Mike Fetchek, Charlie Ward, Ed Fergo, and Jim McGovern. All at five hundred par. Yeah, like five over a par. That's not really good. Some guys had up and down rounds. Um, the cut line where it's top 40 in ties is at 300 par, so that would be 52 golfers. Well, there's a type for 34, but the 300 par, you have, there's a guy outside of that. But yeah, that would be 52 golfers on the occasion. So yeah. So that would be a lot of fighting, busting and feuding, but that's the way it goes in this thing. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.